What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Diablo 2. Uh, well, in our last episode, if you remember correctly, I said I was going to go and do some off-camera uh, countess runs just because I wanted to get some uh, rune words, uh, you know, buff myself up a little bit. Uh, I found myself a nice little uh, new shield. It's not too much better than what I had, but you know what? Uh, it's not that horrible, and what I did with my rune words is just going to be... I mean, that's pretty much going to carry me to the, uh, at least the end of normal, I would assume. Uh, but, just to show everybody what I did, uh, you'll notice I got new armor and a new weapon. So, for my armor, I ended up doing stealth. Uh, just pop in a Talon and Ethrune, and then you get some pretty damn good stats. And then, it was a toss-up on two different w rune words for, you know, early game, if you will. Uh, I ended up going with Malice. So, I got, if LNF makes Malice, uh, three, put it in the three socket weapon, and this is pretty much going to be a, I call it the boss buster. You know, you're going to get your minus 100 to mon monster defense per hit, uh, prevent monster heal, and the open wounds, that's going to do, that's going to do damage. Now, I did also change my amulet just to offset the, um, the minus 5 to uh, drain life. And I have Replenish Life plus 5, so that's going to offset that. So this is probably going to be, these three here are going to be what I'm using, unless I can find something better than this that has additional modifiers, if you will. So with that being said, I didn't continue on in the story. I didn't, I didn't continue on in the story. I only did some off-camera farming just to kind of buff up the character a bit. And we're going to still continue on with... Finding the shaft in the far oasis under uh, in the maggot lair. So we gotta go and find the maggot lair. So now that we're all caught up, how's everybody doing? Hope everybody's having a good day today. I'm having a fantastic day. Uh, we're not going to the halls of the dead. We're going to the dry hills. And I don't remember finding the far oasis, but. Pretty much, we're just going to do work here. Do watch out for that amplified damage, though. Uh... I was thinking about uh, healing myself, but the amplified damage wore off, so I should be good. Uh, might as well heal if they're dropping healing potions left and right. But, where did I leave off? Hope everybody's having a good day, having a good time. Uh, thanks for joining me here. We're gonna, we're gonna find the, um... We're definitely gonna find that shaft. And then we're gonna give the enemies the shaft. Yeah, I think open wounds killed him. Uh, that's Hall of the Dead. We, we don't want to go and do that again. That was, that was a scary time. But... Stop throwing stuff at me. Another cool thing I like about stealth is uh, definitely uh, the, the movement speed. Like, I feel like I am moving so much quicker. And we should be able to find all this stuff at uh, break breakneck speeds now. Hmm. Uh, you are... The Far Oasis? Yes. Yeah, and we, we definitely got the, uh, we got to be getting closer to the sand maggots now. So, what I always like, what I like to try and do first is, of course, we want to find our, uh, waypoint. That way we have an easy, uh, we can warp in and out wherever we need to. Whoa! Look at those bugs. Healing potion. Do do claws sell for good money? If they're good claws, I would assume. Yeah, I I never I never liked those uh those scarabs those beetles there. 
You remember when you ran into Raganishu for the first time and you're like, oh wow, what's a special enemy? I hope I don't ever have to fight him again. Well, guess what? He's a normal enemy in Act 2. Oh, man. You are three socket ring mail. Well, I won't be needing that, uh, I won't be needing any new armor for a little while. Hey, we found our waypoint. So. Now, I know I don't have much in here, but it doesn't hurt to, uh, you know, clear out what I got. Identify. Trade and repair. Uh, ooh, that's gonna take up quite a bit of our money. Yeah, another... Uh, ooh, 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 no, that's that's not good. Um, I accidentally clicked out of my screen. Hold on, let me fix this. Uh, order. Hold on, I can fix this. Uh, we're gonna center you back, and we're gonna come back to my main screen. Uh, we are just going to do that. Okay. <laughs> Sorry about that. Well, you probably uh, moved all around the screen there, and... Didn't know what was happening. It wasn't an earthquake, I promise. Uh, but we'll come back to the far oasis. Yeah, another thing about, um... These, uh... Rune word weapons, too, is that they're actually... Pretty expensive weapons and armor that I put my stuff into. So it's going to be pretty expensive to repair them. <laughs> but it's pretty much with, uh... With Diablo 2, all the crap that drops, uh, you should be able to sell all of it to stay ahead. So, if I'm not, you know, picking up the best quality items I can be picking up. Don't you even think about flying away. Ooh, he turned into ice cubes. He's not going anywhere for a while. Come on. Trying to pick up the gold here. Lightning Nova. Not fun. And you know, picking up the gold doesn't hurt either. Especially... Oh. We have found the maggot level. Uh, I believe the maggot level was three levels as well. So it shouldn't be... Oh, a heraldic shield. Mace. Long blow. Long, long blow. <laughs> yeah. Um... We'll just hold on to that junk. Unless I find something better. Uh, like a socketed sacred globe. You know what? Let's... What is that? Seven to life. I thought that was... I was about to say, does that have seven to a skill? Uh, no, but we're, we're going to go back to town. We're going to clear up. Clear out a little bit. Because that sacred globe... In my experience, usually yes. sacred globes are uh, worth big money. It is an honor to serve you. Uh, so we will repair 1,500. Uh, 300, 300. Yeah. Ah, okay, so that wasn't, that wasn't really worth all that much. So was it worth it to come back into town for that? Probably not. I just get excited when I see things like globes and hawk helms and just because maybe I saw one that was valued more than it should have been. But that's all good. We're just going to keep... Ooh, you're a special enemy. And now you're dead. So I guess you aren't that special. Healing potions... Overall, with the um, the new uh, the new upgrades, I've uh, found myself having it's it shouldn't be too uh, difficult now. We should just be flying through uh, all these stages. 
because one of the um, I'm I'm actually curious because I've actually never uh, fought uh, Duriel, which is the uh, you know the Act Two boss. I've never fought Duriel with any kind of special rune words. I usually just farmed up until I got to a stupid high level. And just beat him that way. So, let's say, uh, you know, with this new, not, it's not new, but with this setup I have now, uh, I should be able to take him out in record time. Without having to, uh, without having to overlevel myself. Usually in the past, I've always tried to overlevel myself. Alright. Ooh, ethereal broad, or ethereal throwing axes. We don't want those. I mean, we could sell them for some money. But overall, I don't think they're, uh, I don't think they're quite as valuable as they should. Okay. I was clicking. I was like, come on. It's, it's goo. Just, you know, walk through it. Smack it. Do something. But, you know, I always kind of liked going through the, uh, the maggot lair. I always like the, uh, environment in here. Like, it's, it's pretty much a giant tunnel. It's pretty cool. Uh, except for when, you know, the tunnels are, like, right next to each other and you can't get around. <laughs> but you have to go around. Stormclaw? I'm not afraid of you. Did I put a... I did put a minor healing potion. Ah, uh, whatever. It's whatever. It'll be fine. I just won't heal that much. I'll be like, oh, I got a defective potion. Alright. So, not too much, uh, ooh, another her heraldic shield. Uh, not too uh, much, uh, not too many interesting things going on uh, with me right now. If I mean, not that anybody's interested, but for the sake of filling space here, uh, I mean, I've not been doing too much of anything. Kind of been in this schedule of uh, wake up, play video games, you know, do what, do what feels right. But I feel like I'm getting a better grasp on, uh, you know, scheduling uh, my gameplay videos, so that's pretty exciting. So, uh, you know, there's some parts too. I feel like, oh, hey, sometimes I could, I, I might be a little late to the whole uh, YouTube thing. I mean, I've been on and off for a while, but at this point it's more so seeing if I can do it rather than I'm going to do it. So it's a nice little thing. I've been I've been enjoying what I'm doing in my free time with it. So there's really no urgency to make a schedule, but I've been trying to have my own schedule up. So uh, or make a schedule to kind of you know, if you enjoy watching the vid if you enjoy watching the videos and you expect videos to be up at a certain point, I'd like to keep at least some sort of schedule going. So, I've been enjoying that. And YouTube does make it super uh, easy to schedule the videos, I've found. Especially uh, with... Man, it, it always feels like... <laughs> oh, get out of here. It always feels like it's like the the place I'm looking for, like, the next level is always in the last section that I'm looking for. Like, the last section I get to. Nope, nothing in this one, so we're gonna go all the way back. <laughs> Look at this map. Oh. But, hey, it wouldn't be, uh, it wouldn't be an adventure if I was, uh, if I didn't go all the way around, uh, all the way around the map. To finish the level. That's just crazy. Anything? Oh, there, there we are. It's I, I did the whole map, and I couldn't, uh, I couldn't get the, get to the area, or I couldn't uh, find the area sooner. The whole first floor. All 
All right, all right. Get get out, get out, get out. Let your HP uh, regenerate. So, we're gonna fight these. We fight these monsters on my terms, not their terms. Uh, scroll identify. Yeah, we'll we'll open up a portal. Uh, I don't think there's a maggot lair. I don't think there's a maggot lair uh, waypoint. I could be wrong. Good evening. Um, but I do just want to trade and repair all of my stuff here. Uh, 236, 641, 40. We don't need that. 1,424. Bam, bam, bam. We will do this, this, and this. And there we go. Yeah, see, we're kind of, um... We're kind of spending... I will, uh, I will just double check my waypoint. But we're kind of spending more money. Yeah, there's no, um... I knew that I, I I knew there wasn't a maggot lair, but we're kind of spending more money on repairs than we're making in uh, what we're selling, so we will be able to uh, rectify that soon. Hopefully, very soon. <laughs> With just being able to, uh, you know, progressing. Come on, progressing further in the game. I have a 95% chance to hit enemies, and I miss five times in a row. But progressing further in the game, we'll find items will gradually get become uh, rare, more rare, and sell for uh, higher value. See, that's what I'm talking about right there. I'm gonna need that ring. I mean, not to uh, <laughs> not to make my character any better. Yeah, there we go. We're, we're getting some rare items. It's all good. It's all good. But, yeah, not to make... I, I mean, as I was saying about the ring, not to make my character better, but usually rings are a pretty good source of uh, money. Okay. We're going to fight these guys on my terms. So, we'll lure them in one at a time. Come on. And that's really, uh, that's really one of the things in Diablo 2 that you really gotta get used to. Uh, I mean, don't get me wrong, you can just go in and start mauling away and killing everything, but... If you want to come up with a... I mean, if you want some sort of strategy to uh, beat these things, get yourself into a narrow corridor and fight them one at a time. It's... There's no there's no shame in doing it. Uh, you know, yeah, I've, you've, if you've been watching the series from the beginning, I've been doing it from the beginning. Even when I fought Andariel, <laughs> I, I pulled the... Uh, you know, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to run up the stairs and recover and then go back down and fight her. So you got to fight... you got to fight these enemies on your terms. You don't want to give them the advantage. You want every advantage you can think of. Even if that means running up the stairs because enemies don't know how to use stairs in this game. Where are all those things coming from? Is there, like, a secret tunnel that I was unaware of? So, I definitely heard... Yeah, there's a, a chip sapphire drop. So, I, like, I thought I heard a jewel or something drop. Uh, we'll pick up the scale mail. Scale mail's pretty good, right? Uh, we'll, I, can't carry I can't carry anymore. How am I already full? Yeah, scale mail is, uh... Way good. Uh... Where? All right. Where are you guys coming from? Oh, there's another. Uh... Yeah, there's another thing around there. So. Greetings. 
You probably notice I go back and forth to town a lot. That's because I, uh, you know, I like to make sure that I have everything I need, uh, plenty of space in my inventory. Yeah, see, there, there we go. This will cover the cost of my repairs this time. Uh, we don't need that. We don't need that. And then, oh, that's perfect. See, we're all good. We're all good. We're making a profit. Oh, what is, what is this right? Half freeze duration. 10% uh, faster cast rate, 16 to attack rating, 10 to attack rating, 9 maximum 10. Uh, I don't think I necessarily need this. Half freeze duration, though, it's very. I don't need the half freeze duration. I'm not going. I don't think I'm going to utilize it as much as uh, I should be. And then we can sell these extra keys and then repair. And then look at that. We got a we got a nice little cushion now. And yes, if you are wondering, I did spend all of my savings on the armor and weapon for the uh, the rune words. So yes. <laughs> I didn't go out and just farm the items. <laughs> yeah, maggot layer level three. And we should have the shaft in here. There should be like a little chamber room. At least I call them the chamber rooms. It's, it's just essentially a room with a ton of enemies and a uh, treasure chest. Quiet. Too quiet. Don't worry, I'll get that rock worm. See, we're already in a narrow hallway, so I should be good to beat him. Uh, dang, just so many flies in here. Or black locusts, buzzing swarms. Oh, you're a champion? Well, excuse me, Mr. Champion. Oh, they were all champions, apparently. Or at least two of them, which means there's probably a third one somewhere. I'll come back to that room. Actually, I'll go to that room right now. Should not have done that. <laughs> it's just gonna bring me around in a circle. Uh, this one's probably gonna bring me around in a circle. Too. No, there's an opening in this room. What are we doing here? I mean, you can try and drain my life, but I'm just gonna defeat you. Like, imagine going into a room and there are bugs so big that you literally have to smash them to death with a mace. Now, I'm like, those are those are the, uh, those are the small bugs, too. I don't know. That was definitely a trap sound, but no trap went off. Ah, here we are. Yeah, I dropped her fast. Uh, so, like I mentioned, we're just gonna... We're just gonna drop these maggots here. Get rid of those. All right, everything good. Um, yeah, everything seems to be good. So we get the treasure chest here. It's not necessarily a uh, like a throne room, but we get the staff of kings, uh, which is the shaft of the Haradric staff. We got some money, and we'll pick this up and we'll check our quest log, uh, which the only thing I have left now is the headpiece from the Claw Viper Temple. So with that being said, we're gonna port back to town 
and call it a, so a good stopping point for this video. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thanks for sticking around, watching, having a good time with me. And if you enjoyed the video, be sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. We'll see you in the next one. Take it easy.